Hey guys, Tony from DeMore Engineering here. Finally getting around to video eight, gain overlap. Okay, let's discuss overlap and what that means. Overlap or gain overlap means gain more gain than you actually need to clip the amplifier. Why do we want to have more gain than we need to clip the amplifier? Because when we set the gain with the zero dB track, zero dB means it's minus zero dB. That means it's all the way up. So when the track is recorded, you know, in the, in the digital world, that this is as high as it can go. This is one, 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 whatever in, in digital. And there, there is no higher than this. So if we use this track, the zero dB track to set up our system and we set it like this with no clipping, that means no matter what you play and what you do, you're not gonna be able to clip your system. And this is a great thing for, you know, if it's a pure SQ system and you want it to just sound, uh, you know, good at any level, there's no way you can distort it, then use this zero dB. For the rest of us that wanna have a system that bumps and we want, we want to be able to play loud, we want to add gain more than this. Why? Because music doesn't sit there and do this at zero dB. It would, it would sound terrible. So music looks like this. It's got a bunch of stuff going on. Maybe occasionally it does get close to the maximum or the rail or whatever you want to call this, the limit, but close. If it was recorded by a decent uh, recording engineer, he should have left himself a little bit of room there. So when you play this back on a system that's been set with no overlap, this is as far as it will ever get. Your amplifier will never be able to clip. So we want to give it a little bit of extra sauce because some music looks like that. Some music looks like this. We want to make sure that we have a little extra sauce on the volume knob so that even if we're playing this green song here, that we're still able to get it close to the rails on the amplifier when we play it back. So this is what gain overlap is. How much of it you decide to choose is a call that you have to make as an experienced uh, installer. But somewhere between 5 to 10 dB is a, it's a really good place to be for for most music and most customers. Um, this would be for the subwoofer amplifier. For the full range amplifier, I would say somewhere between zero and five dB is uh, where you want to stay on that one. The subwoofer can tolerate a little bit of clipping uh, without it being audible and without overpowering the subwoofer. If you do clip the subwoofer uh, too much, you know, like a 200 watt clean signal when fully clipped is actually 400 watts of power. This is where that whole max power thing comes from. That's why it's always double. But um, so the subwoofer can tolerate a bit of it and it will play a little bit louder uh, on the subwoofer if it is clipping some. Um, so we, we tend to go a little bit hotter on the, on the subwoofer, but these are great guidelines. If you're using the, our tool, the DD1 tool, you can select zero, five or 10 with the, the CD that's included or the tracks that are included. Uh, if you have a DD1 Plus, you can set it anywhere in between there in tenth of a dB increment. So that's really handy on that tool. When using that tool, I, I, on my personal system, I do about three here and about seven or eight over here. Works great for, for almost any type of music. So hope this uh, helps. Uh, if there's still questions, leave them here and I'll do my best to answer them when I can. Thanks for watching.